is Gollum. Hope you all enjoy, and with that, let's get straight back into the game. Made it down. Ah, it's too hot. It burns our skin. What's your number? 914 They're sending the weak up to the tower. Who 
saw it. Anyone? He, he fell. Yes, that's bound to happen with a broken neck. Went up into the light, the quiet one, he did. And so will you, if you keep talking. What? What do you want? Masters like this one, don't they, precious? Orc is very strong. <laughs> the window. That's your place. Now be quiet. Like the last one who sat there. Quiet. I've seen people sit there all night, staring out that window. Hatching out plans. Good, clever plans. All dead and gone. What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Ah, oh, yes. That beautiful gate. Leads straight out of Lugborz, they say. There it is. Opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Who lives in the tower? The master of the Black Pits, a sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him whose light burns in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the Halls of Grond. In a building made of steel. Halls of Grond? I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long.
I hear you're quite a climber. Water. Please. I told you, don't talk to her. <laughs> that rodent from yesterday. Still walking. Special honor for you today. Some of our little crackers didn't go off last night. Some dirt eater needs to crawl down the tunnels and light them up. And among all dirt eaters, don't you two look like kings? <laughs> Stop staring, Shaku. What's a dirt eater? That's what they call slaves. It's gonna come down on us. Come on, you as well. Take a light. It's going to be dark. We like dark. Frail man can keep nasty lights. They used to have dwarves for this kind of work, but they're all gone. Now they send in the most starved slaves. Workers already placed the explosives. Lighting them, that's the dirt eater's task. At the end of the tunnel, you'll find a barrel full of flammable liquid. Go down, light it up, then run for your life. Why? When you smell the fumes, you'll know why. No marks. These tunnels haven't been cleared. Take some igniters, the red stones. Crawl down to the barrels and put the redstone in. Then hurry back. Don't breathe too much. What's the frail man's job? I'll keep watch. <laughs> that must be the cracker. So, you can see in the dark, hmm? Do you want to know a secret? Let's finish these tunnels first. Come this way. There are more of these cursed things. Why do we have to go? Frail man does nothing. You 
need to learn. I won't always be around to teach you. Oh my god, did I literally just walk into a fucking pit? Useless, useless, what did he do, eh? Nothing. It's very old. Can't crawl nice like us, can it? No, it cannot. Can breathe now. Breathing. <sighs> One more, come on. What's the secret? Hmm? No. Forget about it. Has it food, eh? Has it nice fish hidden away? Not here. Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. Secret? What secret, eh? The old man has secret food, perhaps. Yes. What does it eat? Hmm? Cruel orcs eat everything up.
Darkness, my love. How it shined, how it twinkled in the dark. So sweet, so beautiful. We must find it. Find it before he does. Then he can crawl in the dark, make nasty lights shine. What's that? I smell incompetent. Aye. But who's the look and ask him of it? Colin. <laughs> and now he wants bread for crawling through some dirt. Take it then. Nobody shall call Kuznach unjust. Back upstairs with you. He's better here. Frail man can tell us secrets now. Remember the dwarves I mentioned earlier? One of them told me something once. Those buildings up there above the bridge, see? He had to build them. Dangerous work. But after a while, he knew where the guards watched. He'd steal red stones and hide them in a cave near the bridge. Just one stone each day, so the guards wouldn't notice. Why? Why do you think? What happened? Well, one day he slipped and fell. <laughs> That's not a nice story. Mm, I suppose not. That's all I'm saying. But you gave her water. Hey, little Gollum got something. bread. Now Gollum owes it to me. <laughs> Your bread? Or are you deaf? Are you deaf, little Gollum? Perhaps Orc would sleep more quiet if we was his friend. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? Alright guys, that's going to be it for part 3. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next part. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.